guys, welcome back to my channel. This week, I want to show you how to make Venezuelan polenta balls. And these are super easy to make, they're delicious. And they are made with a white corn polenta flour, which is the same one that we use to make arepas. And they're filled with, well, anything that you like. Today I'm doing a meat version, but also you can do a vegetarian version or a vegan version with some grilled veggies and some cheese or some tomato sauce. You can put anything you like and they're absolutely easy to make, super quick and perfect for a midweek meal because they are quick and also they keep really well in the fridge. I keep mine, sometimes I make like for two or three days and I keep them in the fridge, reheat them in the microwave and they're perfect. You can, you can eat them with a fresh salad or sometimes we do rice. You can, you can eat them with anything that you like and it's perfect for a light lunch or dinner. So they're really, really nice to make. In the description below, uh, in the description box below, mincing my words, um, I'm gonna leave you uh, the link to the blog where you can print the recipe and also I'm giving you sort of more info on where to get the flour because it's a very specific flour so I'm just giving you some information there on how where to get the the flour if you live in the UK or in the US or in Italy uh, because it's a really really specific flour and if you make this recipe leave your comments below I really am curious to know what you how you guys did it what sort of filling do you use and also take pictures and tag me on my social media I want to see what you guys are cooking and uh, especially this recipe because you can really fill them with anything and remember to subscribe to my channel so you, you won't miss any video recipe there's a new video or a new recipe every week so I'll shut up now and I'm gonna go cook and I'll see you guys next week bye in a bowl place the flour the salt and the water and mix everything together for about five minutes until the dough is solid compact but soft like I'm showing here once the dough is done start to form the balls taking a little bit of the dough in your hand and rolling it to form a ball with your finger, open a hole in the middle of the dough of the bowl. Try not to make it too deep or too thin because you don't want the filling to come out. And start to fill the bowl with your preferred uh, filling. I'm using a minced meat, but you can use anything you like. And I'm putting up about a tablespoon and a half of filling. Once you put all the filling, close the bowl carefully to close all the gaps to avoid the filling coming out. As you see, I'm doing here, um, with the bowl and I like to roll it out just to give it a bit of a bit of shape ball shape once all the dough is done and all the balls are made as you can see here place the tomato sauce in a pot and place the balls in the tomato sauce quite carefully at this point the dough is very soft you so you have to be careful not to uh, crack it or not to open the balls because all the fillings are going to come out cover and leave to cook for seven minutes once seven minutes have passed carefully with a fish slice or a uh, wooden spoon unstick the balls from the bottom of the pan carefully not to uh, crack them or make an opening and then with a mini ladle, I just ladle some tomato sauce on top to give it more flavor and help the dough to cook on the top. Once you do that, cover again and leave to cook for, the, for another seven minutes. Once they're done, leave the bowls to rest for five minutes in the pot. And then with a fish slice, carefully scoop them out and serve on a plate. Once you serve all the block, all the balls on a plate, I like to 
Put a little bit more salt on top. As you can see, the sauce will thicken because of the starch of the dough. And then I like to sprinkle a little bit of Parmesan cheese. You can also grate some feta cheese. Sometimes I, I do that, but this time I used Parmesan cheese. And these are my filled polenta bowls with minced meat, but you can use anything you like, like veggies or cheese, cheese and tomato sauce. And these bowls are really, really, really nice. I like to serve them with salads, but you can use anything you like. Remember, you can print this recipe going to my blog. I'll put the link in the description box below. And guys, I hope you really do make this recipe. They are really, really, really delicious. See you next time.